What's good? What's good? I've had a really good morning so far. Knock on wood. Don't jinx myself. I slept in. That was nice. Uh, and then I went and got coffee, had a nice little chat with my one of my favorite baristas. We, It's really nice to like have genuine, authentic conversations with people and to hear about their lives and have them ask about your life. And that's like, that's community to me and I love it. So then I was just sitting um, outside of the Fred Meyer where I got my coffee. There's a little bench. It's a little rainy, but it's covered and it's just nice. It's just really nice out with a warm coffee. And, and so I'm just sitting on the bench, just chilling. Um, and uh, I was taking up kind of like an odd portion of the bench and uh, a young person came up and said, you know, do you mind if I sit with you? And they were so polite and asking. And I, you know, felt kind of bad initially because I was taking up a weird section of the bench. And then I said, yes, absolutely, of course. You know, let me make space for you. And it just felt good to, you know, like be in public and have people like not be afraid to, to just sit next to me. Um, you know, it, it, community feels good. And so we both just sat in silence on the bench. I was doing my phone stuff, whatever. I need to get to the title of this, the topic of this video. I'm rambling. Um, it's not going to be a long video because I don't want to talk about it too much because this whole subject is like, <laughs> it's hard to talk about. Uh, but anti-Semitism, something that the left and the right can agree on in weird ways. And it's not even like all of the left and all of the right. I have been observing that pockets, we'll say pockets, you know, I was gonna say 50-50, but we'll just call it like distinct and large enough pockets or, or, or segments of the left, as well as distinct and large enough segments of the right, both seem to be anti-Semitic. And it's really, inter it's just interesting to me. Obviously, I disavow anti-Semitism. I disavow hate. Uh, I just want everyone to go drop acid and, and love on the planet, regardless of your, your skin color or your religion, your whatever, right? But I do see how religion complicates that whole thing. And it's not just J Judaism. All of the Abrahamic faiths do it. And then even the Eastern faiths also, but, but still. Anyways, let me think, think of like one example. So there's like the group on the left, the, the pro-Palestinian group that very much hates uh, Israel, uh, calls Netanyahu a war criminal, and he probably is, but so is, you know, Biden and Obama and Bush, and uh, they're all war criminals. Maybe even Trump. I think he has the best record on war, but he might not, he's still not innocent. He killed that one guy, but that was just that whole thing was based anyways. So then on the right, so that there's the left, right? The pro-Palestinian people on the left who despise Israel, right? And then on the right, there are the ultra religious, ultra Christian conservative types who, uh, I don't know much about this admitting ignorance here, but they claim Zionists rule the world. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't think it because I see, uh, world leaders of every, uh, ethnicity and religious sort of affiliation do all of their own evil things. Um, and so I grant, uh, other countries like that agency, I guess. Um, but anyways, so the right, the ultra Christian conservative right, think that, you know, the Jewish people are the enemy of America. But then there's also segments on the right that love the Jewish state and that like want to send Israel money, like the, the whole Daily Wire. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Dr. Jordan Peterson, for the sake of your, your career and your legacy, please disconnect from the Daily Wire. I totally understand your religious sort of journey, but the Daily Wire, in my opinion, is not a good influence on you. But, uh, wait, hold on. No, they're Jewish. Yeah, so they like Israel, right? But then on the left, there's the whole war machine, the establishment um, who loves Israel because we get money from them. And then there's all the money laundering that goes on. 
I'm trying to think of like, there was another term I was just, like the military industrial complex is just enmeshed. They're integrated with Israel. So the left side who needs to keep their donors and whatnot happy, they'll kiss the, kiss the wall as the expression is. Um, I'm not like, I'm not anti-Semitic, but I'm, I'm anti any religion trying to control me. So I'm against all religions trying to influence politics, but the people of these religions who are not perpetuating the control, they're totally fine. Um, I've met Muslim people that I very much like. I've met Muslim people who kind of scare me a little bit. I've met Christian people that I very much like. I've met Christian people that kind of scare me a little bit. I've met Jewish people that I really like. And I've met Jewish people that kind of scare me a little bit. So it's, it's, it's not just one religion and it's not just the Jews. Um, however, I just find this, this weird uh, common ground that the left and the right have, or segments of the left and the right have. Um, but I do think we, we shouldn't be sending money to Israel. Heck no. We shouldn't be sending money to Ukraine. We shouldn't be sending money anywhere. I saw this. I have not yet fact check it. I encourage you to fact check it and send me a link. Please put a link in the comments description. Somebody said that we're actually sending money to China. We send aid money to China. Why? Why? And then this is where it gets super convoluted, but China owns a large portion of America's debt. How does China own America's debt, right? And then we're sending them money. But then how does any country own the debt of another country? I'm gonna leave the video there and let you think on that. Much love, no division, don't stand for hate, seek solidarity.